Walk to End Alzheimer's on City Island will kick off this weekend. Fox 23's Sarah Williams joins us now live from Harrisburg with details on the walk and how organizers plan to tackle the stigma surrounding Alzheimer's one step at a time. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning. So in Pennsylvania alone, there are more than 280,000 people living with Alzheimer's disease. And with that, 400,000, or excuse me, 400,000 people make up caretakers, their loved ones, their family, as well as their friends taking care of them. And organizers hope that this walk this weekend will continue to further the work that they put in and accomplished, as well as extend resources to people in need. Now, multiple treatments for Alzheimer's have been approved by the FDA and even blood biomarkers are currently being used to help diagnose the disease early. However, Clay Jacobs, the executive director of Alzheimer's Association of Greater Pennsylvania, says there's still more work to be done to care for both people with Alzheimer's and their caretakers. Legislation like Senate Bill 840, which addresses the personal and financial hardships of caring for someone with Alzheimer's, is just the start of the work advocates say they want to accomplish. Our vision is a world without Alzheimer's disease and all other dementias. And so while we work towards that, we know we need to provide care and support and resources, do work in public policy at state and federal levels and so much more to make the journey easier for those impacted. Now, the walk takes place this Saturday at City Island. Registration is at 9 a.m. and the opening ceremony is at 10 a.m. Now, the walk is actually one of the largest uh, organization and events that helps fund research, uh, funding, as well as resources for people who need that care and support. So make sure you show out. But for now, in Harrisburg, Sayera Williams, Fox 43 News.